A New Jersey <laughs> teen is on a mission to let boys know that cooks are cool. And I think all our chefs here in New Mexico can prove that. Mm -hmm. It all started when 13-year-old McKenna Pope's little brother asked for the Easy Bake Oven for Christmas. I loved that, by the way. But when McKenna went to buy one, she could only find it in pink and purple. Yeah, so this gal has started an online petition asking Hasbro, the maker of the toy ovens, to make it in gender neutral colors and feature boys on the box. <laughs> I personally love this idea. Love you know this. what? My son, only three years old, uh -huh. not kidding here, he pretends to cook. I love he it. He does. He likes it. So, you know, what? what's wrong with this? I think this is a great idea. The it petition, is. by the way, has more than 30,000 signatures. Celebrity chef Bobby Flay has even spoken out in favor of McKenna's cause. This is a great story. I really hope yeah, it happens. Yeah, you know what? Times have changed. Definitely, definitely. There you go. I hope it happens. Something interesting we've also found out. What? Sesame Street oh, is yeah. tackling the very difficult subject of divorce. Have mm -hmm. you heard about this? Yeah, this is interesting. You know, and this is an issue that affects millions and like a million and a half mm -hmm. children across the United States every year. Yeah, what happened was yesterday, Sesame Workshop launched Little Children Big Challenges Divorce. That's what it's called. And it's basically a set of free resources offered online for families who are coping with divorce. And like you said, mm -hmm. a million and a half. I mean, that's a lot of people. So this is a really exciting thing for people. The tools are basically designed to help the kids between the ages of two and eight deal with those parents' divorces. It's a reality, and this will help the parents to talk about divorce with their children in a very yeah. age-appropriate way, because that's that's the tricky part. Let's take a look. This is, is an actual clip of the whole 13-minute video. Just a clip. Hey, guys. Oh, hi, Gordon. Hey, what you doing? I'm drawing pictures. <laughs> oh, really? Of what? Of our homes. Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. We're drawing where we live. This is a picture of Elmo's apartment. This one is where I live with my mommy, and this one is where I live with my daddy. But Abby, why don't you all live in one house together? Well, because my parents are divorced. D divorced? Mm -hmm. well, what does divorce mean? Well, divorce means that Abby's mommy and daddy aren't married anymore. Huh. Elmo doesn't get it. Me neither. Mm -hmm. When my mommy and daddy were married, we all lived together in one house. But then one day they told me they had some grown-up problems. Problems they couldn't fix. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy told me that they decided not to be married to each other anymore. But they said they both still loved me very much. You know what? Heart. Yeah, and this this is great. It's it's it, it's a reality yes. that needs to be talked about. If you don't have the words on how to explain to your to your kiddos that you mommy and daddy are getting a divorce, mm -hmm. let Sesame Street help. Oh. Sesame Street help you. Great. I mean, it's yeah. The, by the way, the the little children's little children big challenges divorce online petition or initiative as it's mm -hmm. called also includes children's book, a mobile app. There's a guideline yes. there for parents as well as a digital t uh, tip sheets and webinar uh, webinars. Great. That is really great. I'm so glad they're doing this. Now, would your child like a patient, attentive friend to read to, maybe during tough times like that, or, hmm. or even through happy times? Well, that's something a lot of kids are thinking about. So Read to the Dogs is a new program, this is great, <laughs> at the Albuquerque Bernalillo County Library that provides an opportunity for kids to read to registered therapy dogs in a very relaxed atmosphere. This is where the dogs can just sit calmly and quietly for a story. You know, this is an interesting concept. Right? Children can actually practice reading out loud without fear of judgment so they can gain that confidence in reading. Another option in is to just laugh at the grown-ups. The Southwest Canine Corps Volunteers has a, a series, a whole group of people to go out to various facilities. Uh, everything from hospitals like Loveless and Presbyterian to rehab centers to um, assisted living centers and libraries to uh, bring dogs to people who are recovering from illness or who are in, in some sort of facility and to give them comfort and, and joy. And uh, in, the, in the program that here in the library uh, is all about kids. Um, kids coming in and reading to the dogs. So people, kids, parents bring their kids in and they, they read to the dogs. Well, I just, it, Cisco's a, a, a big mixed breed dog, a Pyrenees Kubash mix. Uh, he's from the Animal Humane Group uh, Society and um, they're working dogs. Uh, and so when he was a puppy and, and I got him when he was a teeny little, I used to carry him around my shoulder actually. Uh, and there, I felt that he needed a job, he, he, he needed something to do. 
and uh, and he's always been great with kids. He's just he's just amazing with kids. They lie on him and and he just hangs out with them and they crawl all over him and he's very easy. So it felt like I'd like to get him into a program where he could be of some service. And and he said he wanted to do that, right, Cisco? I think the idea behind the program is for kids who are who maybe lack confidence about reading or are unsure of themselves, they come and read to the dog. I mean, it's not, it's not about me, it's about Cisco. And uh, there's no judgment here. Uh, <laughs> he just likes to listen to kids read and uh, they enjoy reading to him and he's very affectionate. So if he, it helps the kids both be able to be confident in terms of their reading and also, and also to be comfortable with a large dog. Cisco's always looking for, is waiting for kids to read to him. He's a, he's a very affectionate and friendly dog with kids, so come down and read him a story. Make his day. Oh, beautiful dog. Mm -hmm. Great story. There are several participating libraries, by the way. For a complete schedule and more information about the Read to Dogs program, just visit the Albuquerque Bernalillo County Library website. Yeah. Now, I'm wearing like a scarf that. today. I was cold this morning. You know what? I don't think it's going to let up much. No. Let's check in with uh, meteorologist Nancy Burgeon, who is standing by for Kristen. Hey, Nancy. Hi, Nancy.